We're going to be talking about issues for LGBTQI plus asylum seekers and refugees. So there's a few terms that we need to define first of all. We use LGBTQI as a catch-all phrase for people who are claiming on the basis of their sexual orientation or gender identity. And those letters stand for lesbian, gay, bi, trans, queer, intersex, and then there's plus on the end to include everyone else. And then there's a question about what is a refugee and what is asylum. A refugee is someone who's at risk if they go home and they need asylum, which is a place of safety. You can claim asylum if you're in the United Kingdom and you can show that, first of all, you are LGBTQI+, or that other people think you're LGBTQI+, that you're going to be at risk of serious harm because of your sexual orientation or gender identity, that the state either can't or won't protect you from that serious harm, and that there isn't anywhere else that you can go in the country to live safely. When we talk about harm, we mean serious harm. That can mean serious physical violence, could even mean death. It may mean an unfair, serious prosecution, being detained and arrested for your sexual orientation or gender identity. It can even mean really serious discrimination that stops you from being able to live your life at all. It's not about whether it's better to be LGBTQI plus in the UK than in your own country. Refugee status is about saying that there's a problem for you now if you go home. You may not have had a problem in the past. You may have concealed your sexual orientation or gender identity in the past. That doesn't stop you being a refugee if you're at risk if you went home now. For people who claim asylum on the basis of their sexual orientation and gender identity, there are two main things that they need to prove. The first is that they are the sexual orientation or gender identity that they claim, or that they are going to be mistaken for being that sexual orientation or gender identity by other people. The second thing is that they have to prove that their country is dangerous enough for them to qualify to have asylum in the United Kingdom. Now, for some countries, that's very clear. It's very well known and accepted that there's a really serious risk in that country. But for other countries, the problem may be more hidden or may affect different people in different ways. So it can be more difficult to prove in those cases.